10k from Gurumu mine in the Katanga. We have a matrix of uh, dolomite. Um, hellishly difficult to photograph these guys. And then sitting on the dolomite, we have a very thin layer of cobalt and calcite. Lovely baby pink. As you'd have the baby blue, you'd have got the baby pink here. Dusting that would be almost a powdery crassa color. And typically, we'd have some druzy quartz crystals over this. I think on this particular piece, there ain't no druzy quartz. So we have the crassa color. We have the... Uh, uh, dusting the cobalt and calcite and sitting on that are these little green crystals which we're gonna go with malachite for now could be a whole multitude of different minerals ranging from paramelaconite to uh, gahardite to uh, the ziggurat uh, I'm gonna call them malachite for now most likely not malachite the black material on the side on magnification you'd find that it's a tiny waxy black botroids of heterogenite sitting in those sections. Uh, from a display point of view, a rather versatile piece. Um, I would actually display it at an angle like this. So we have this fruity section running up here, running across like that. So looking from, uh, or you could have it on one angle going like this. Focusing on that, you could be focusing on that. Also, quite lovely, almost a botryoidal formation of the cobalt and calcite sitting on that edge with a slight dusting of the druzy quartz. I think with the still pictures, they might be slightly underexposed, but if you zoom into them, you get a pretty accurate uh, uh, indication of the actual specimen. Lovely, mild pink intermingled with some white, maybe a little bit of bluishness, and of course the dusting of the malachites with some heterogenite associated there as well.